What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got this problem here. It wants us to find, um, what is it, the density of this metal? And uh, what cube, what did it weigh before you drove through it? Okay, so let, let me explain that what's going on here. So you got this cube, five centimeters by five centimeters by five centimeters. And then there's a hole with a diameter of two drilled all the way through it. And then what it gives you is the weight in newtons. And it, yeah, so you can basically, what we need to do to find uh, the density, right? Density is equal to mass divided by volume. So we can calculate mass, and we're gonna have to calculate volume, and that's how we're gonna find the density. So let's just stick to that. So let's, let's just, uh, first calculate mass. So we have weight in newtons. Uh, newtons is not mass. Newtons is force. So force of gravity is equal to mass times acceleration. Uh, we're given the force, so it's 6.30 is equal to mass. And then the acceleration of gravity on Earth, 9.81, and we're going to get that the mass is equal to, oh, you can even see what's going on. Yeah, you probably can. Uh, so the mass is equal to, that can't be right. I'm looking at the wrong problem. Uh, 0 0.64 kilograms. Okay. So that's the number that we need. So that's mass. Found one thing. Now let's find volume. Okay, so you can easily find the volume of the cube by just cubing uh, the side length. But then we have this thing in the middle. And of course, that's going to subtract volume from our, you know, our cube. So to do that, we're going to need to subtract the volume of this circular thing that got subtracted or that got taken away from the cube. And then we're just going to need to add the cube length to that negative number. And that's how we're going to find volume. So let me, let me draw through that. So volume of the cube is equal to... Uh, but it's in centimeters, so we're going to need to convert to meters, so it's going to be 0 0.05 meters cubed, but then we're going to need to subtract the center part. So the, the, the volume of a cylindrical sphere, or a cylindrical, uh, a cylinder, I guess, <laughs> volume of cylinder is equal to pi radius squared times length. So this makes sense. Pi radius squared is the area, or it's the area of the end, and then you multiply it by the length to get the whole volume. So we can find this is equal to pi. We know that the radius is 0 0.2 divided by 1, or divided by 2, so 0 0.02 divided by 2. That's because that's the diameter. We need to get it divided by 2 to get the radius, and you square it for the formula. And then the length, we know it's going to be 5 centimeters, so 0 0.05. So what we can do is just plug this into here. So it's going to be minus pi, 0 0.02 divided by 2, squared, 0 0.05, and that's the volume. So if you calculate this, you're going to get to that volume is equal to 50 or 5.47. I'm looking at the wrong problem again. Keep doing that. I need to make my problems more distinct. Where is this volume? That's equal to 1.09 times 10 to negative 4 meters cubed. So then we just have to plug it into this formula. So density is equal to 1.09 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by uh, the number of the mass we just, oh, I just did it upside down. I'm making all sorts of mistakes today. 0 0.64 divided by 1.09 times 10 to the negative 4. You're going to get that. Make sure I'm doing the right number. Yes, it's going to be equal to 5,876 kilograms per meter cubed. And that's a pretty reasonable number for a metal, right? Like water's 1,000. Mercury's like way more than that. So this metal's kind of in between there. Or maybe mercury's less than that. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but some metal's very dense. I think gold is way more dense, obviously. So then part B asks us to find the mass before we drill it. So again, we can rewrite this formula. We're trying to find mass this time. So we're gonna say density times volume is equal to mass just by multiplying volume over. So mass is gonna be, so we know the density now. We found the density. Now we need to find the volume of the cube before the thing was drilled in it, which is going to be way simpler. It's just going to be this part, right? This is the density, or this is the volume of the cube, and then this is subtracting the cylinder. If you just don't have the cylinder, you just get rid of that. So it's going to be five eight seven six times zero point zero five cubed is equal to the mass. And if you calculate that, here you get to zero point seven three kilograms. And then, um, so that's, the, I guess if you wanted mass in kilograms, that's good. I think sometimes it might ask for the force. So force of gravity is equal to mass times acceleration. 
I guess it gives us the weight in newtons, so I'm going to assume it wants the weight back in newtons. So if you want to find the weight in newtons, it's going to be equal to the mass, which is you know, 0 0.73 times 9.81. And you're going to find that that is equal to 7.16 newtons. So these numbers are the same, just depending on what form you want it in. Uh, yeah. That's how you solve this problem. So yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. Uh, if you want some more help, stick around and watch some more videos. And yeah, so calc game, rise up.